Hello everyone, <clears throat> Bill Bacardi here. Hopefully everybody's well. Uh, we're gonna pick a lock tonight. We're actually gonna try and do an eviction. Gotta get my coffee out of the way here. I have this Den Brass here. That is brutal. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna try him out again tonight and see if we can't get rid of him. Uh, let me see you squared up there. Yeah, that's good. You know, my vice really doesn't want to stick down nowhere. That's the bidding on the key. It's a Bill Bacardi bidding. <laughs> well, Dunbrass was making them before me, so... Uh, let's start with a gem here. Let's get a gem out. 50,000 spray bar. My tension wrench here. Hopefully this doesn't turn into a really, really long video. And uh, let's try and get this baby open. Okay, we got, I believe that's the Tron that uh, Bobby Keys made me there. And I start everything with the gem. And I'm going to pick off this ledge. It's just like Kiwi. Oh, it's loose in there. Maybe your base won't stick at all anymore. <sighs> so it was a beautiful day here today. 50 degrees, sunny all day. Oh, I got something, a little, little tiny false set. I think that that was three. Um, I started to say it was a beautiful day here all day, but man, as soon as that sun goes down, it gets cold again. Woo, it gets cold. Okay, two. I got a pretty good click on two there. Two is a real long pin, so. I feel like I overset something already. <sighs> Sorry guys, this lock has been in my naughty bucket for way too long already. I'm going to try and get this one evicted, and then I'm going to try that Super Llama again. I've gotten that Super Llama padlock open a few times, but like I said the other day, it's just not in a timely fashion. I mean, it's my best time's probably half hour on that lock. Super Llama makes some mean locks. So does Den Brass. And I also have a Trek Master in the bucket over there. Big giant master lock. That's really a hard lock. I don't know. I'm just having problems with padlocks lately, guys. Oh, I just lost it all. God. <laughs> I felt like I overset something again. You know what? Let's go this way instead. Okay. One. Three, I'm going to need something deeper for sure. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up to it. Yeah, I guess off the ledge I can get up to it with this. No problem. No, perfect. Um, oh, son of a bitch is still loose in there. How can that be? Whew. Uh, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying, guys. Sorry. When I lost my tension wrench. <laughs> This is a really hard lock, guys. Okay, just touched four and it gave me a little bit of a false set there. And it's like really, really, really crunchy. So I'm sure everything is threaded inside this lock. Ah, oh, just lost my tension. I got tension on my, oh, on my pick. I had tension, so I was able to keep it turned. I can't believe that this lock is still moving around in his vice. Jesus, I got it tight. Okay. All 
right, I'm getting a lot. I'm open. I'm open. Oh my goodness. Hooray. Whoo, and that was on six. It's open, guys. Jesus Christ. That's an eviction. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now I want to see what's inside this thing. I'm going to try and not lock it back up, even though we have a key here. God, I was so tired of looking at this thing. It was like staring at me every time I sat down at the table. <laughs> oh. Am I squared up there, guys? Yeah, I'm far enough over. Nice out of the way. Oh. Oh, my hands are shaking. I'm so excited that this one popped open finally. See, I think I got it set with that other pick. And it just six was holding me up there. Whew, okay, let's get a shim in the hem right away. Jesus Christ. Okay. Now I can't even get a shim in him. Wow, is that tight? That is really, really, really tight. Well, let's see if I can't just ride the follower with the shim there. Hoping there's no big T-pins in the top of there. Okay, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, 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 going. It's gone. Beautiful. That was nice, guys. Sorry. Um, let's get a key. I can show you everything's in and working here. It's really greasy. Wow. Oh, I can see where the false sets were coming from here. Okay. Everything is in and working. I'll get a little closer for you, as I hope you can see that. Okay. God, am I so glad that one finally opened. <laughs> All six pins are in there. Number one is a really cool serrated T-pin. Number two is all serrated. Oh, three is a pin and pin key pin. Awesome. Very nice pin, then. Then, Brass, you make a really hard lock, my friend. They're all T-pins almost. Yeah, they are. Whew. And look at my hand shaking. <laughs> Okay, let's get this shim all the way out of here. And pull this stuff out of the top here. That's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, then brass makes a hell of a lock. I've gotten one or two open, uh, serrated in one. One or two open, uh, but it was before I had my channel. I had a couple of his uh, challenge locks. Two is a really, really cool serrated spool. We can get that spring out, another copper spring. Sorry, this might be a long video, guys. Three is just barely poking his head up over the shear line there. Lee's got a really weak spring in him. Yeah, it's a little crushed one. I'll get one more out this way, then we'll go through the back for the rest. Jeez, is that a long serrated pin? Whew. Then brass, very nice job on these pins, my friend. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I don't want to drop this. I'm just going to take the other pin out and then I'll pull the springs because this follow is really loose in here now. So, yeah, I'm too far. That was in six, and here comes five. Beautiful. They're all copper springs, but they're varying in lengths and sizes there. Okay, let's see what then brass did up top. I don't see nothing up top. Huh. That's surprising, because it looks like he took the cap off of this. Okay, nothing up top. But the core has threading in every chamber. Every chamber's threaded in the core, guys. 
Let me bring this down to the pinning board here. And uh, we'll show you what Den Brass put in here for us. That was an awesome pick. And that's actually not too bad. I'm only 10 minutes in. So in number one, we had this T-pin here with the serrated pin up above it. Copper spring. This really, really cool serrated pin here. My phone's flashing 20% battery, so I gotta hurry up. <laughs> um, the serrated spool up above it with this copper spring. And then this is a pin and pin key pin with serrations all the way down and it turns into a T-pin at the top with that serrated above it with that real sh smash spring there. Another T-pin in five with this serrated up above. Look how many serrations are in that thing. <laughs> And then five, this T pin with these serrations in it. And this serrated, I'm gonna say that's a serrated like a spool almost at the bottom. That's a really big one at the bottom. And this serrated spool here with this little tiny T pin underneath it. Copper spring, copper spring. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. I'm glad I finally got that evicted out of my naughty bucket. And uh, have a great evening, everyone. Thanks for watching. Good night.